short video to demonstrate injector test mode. This is on Megasquirt 3 firmware, but basically it's the same concept whether it's on Megasquirt 2 Extra or Megasquirt 3. Options slightly different in MS3, but pretty much the same thing. So, important, don't try and do this on a running engine, make sure it's off, and if you're doing injector testing, either you need the injectors off the engine safely somehow, or you need to make sure you haven't got any line pressure because otherwise you'd fill up your intake manifold and fill up your cylinders with fuel which will generally be a bad idea. I'm doing this on the bench so obviously there's uh, no danger there. So I'm going to go to output test mode and the first thing I've got to do on this screen here is enter this code sequence here 12345. The reason for that is to have a special sequence that the code can't accidentally go into output test mode. So I key in one, two, three, four, five. Tab out of that field. Need burn comes on. And then I click on burn. Need burn goes off. You're now in the test mode. Um, I'd normally use the on the when bench testing, turn the fuel pump on and off and check the uh, LED comes on and off on the stim. I've already done that, so that's okay. So now for this example I'm going to do injector testing so test mode injectors now note on that if there was anything in that field already if it was already on injectors to be certain it's been sent correctly first turn it off then turn it back on again same for all fields I'm going to change the output interval but if you wanted that to be 199 first put it as 0 tab out and then put it back as 199.9 and tab out each time you're doing that you're confirming it's definitely been sent. For this test I'm going to use 50 milliseconds. So I keyed in 50 and then tabbed out to the tab key. Now inject the testing mode I want to use 1 and once again make sure if it was already on 1 put it to off first then put it to 1. So what 1 does is it'll fire just one injector at a time. In this case here it's on inj A. Following the principle I've said I put that to B and I put it back to A again. Pulse width, I'm going to try, say, 3 milliseconds to start with. PWM parameters, in this test I'm hooked up to one of the MS3X injector outputs. They don't support PWM anyway, so I can just leave that alone. That would be if you were physically testing some injectors on the uh, V3 outputs and you want to try out different PWM parameters and see how the injectors responded physically, you could use that there and try out different settings and see what hold percentage you needed and that kind of thing. Now for bench testing I'll tend to use 65535 plug in 65535 that's the maximum. You can if you're actually flowing injectors you'd want to put in a real number you know a number of hundred or thousand injections there and then measure the fuel flow but for here just for demonstration I'm going to use 65535. Having keyed that in there the injector output actually starts. Now I've got a scope connected up here and we can see these are two injection pulses here and down here on the measure output that this scope features that's showing there that that's measuring exactly 3.000 milliseconds and the period is 50.1 so that's working fine. Now if we come back over here I'm going to try a different pulse width so I'll come to here and say I'll try 7.5 milliseconds, so I'll key that in, then tab out, then up on the scope here, you see it's a wider pulse width, and down in the measure area there, the width of that pulse width is 7.5 milliseconds, and the period is 50.2. So we can try again, we can try something larger down here, so say if I tried say uh, 25 milliseconds, or maybe 25.3, for something weird, try that, and it's approximately 50% duty cycle now and down in the measure area here you can see it's, it's actually showing 24.9 but that's likely due to scope because it can't tell which period it's supposed to be measuring there out of those. So if I try a different value in there, I don't know, say 14.6 it's a bit clearer which period it's supposed to be measuring. Actually a scope issue here, I want to move that across there so now it's actually going to be measuring that period there, whereas on the previous one it was actually measuring the wrong part. So it's now showing there 14.6 milliseconds. Try another example here. Maybe if I say try, uh, I don't know, 
5.1 milliseconds and we reduce the output interval there to maybe uh, 12. So again it's nearly 50% duty cycle so it's you know looks like that on the display and you can see it's showing 5.1 milliseconds and it's reporting 12.1 12.2 period okay so that's all fine having done that you then uh, put that to off and you need to uh, close the dialog and turn off then back on again you make a squirt to make sure that the test mode has been cancelled